Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your PC cannot project to another screen. Try reinstalling the driver. So if you're coming across this error, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So the first thing you want to do is ensure that your display driver, that your display is hooked up properly. So I would suggest unplugging and plugging it back in. So, I mean, that should honestly be able to resolve a lot of problems. Another thing I'd suggest doing would be if it came with any installation disk or USB information, I'd recommend running and installing it on your computer. Otherwise, go on the manufacturer's website and actually download the drivers from their site. There's usually an automatic utility, so you don't actually have to manually install it yourself. You just go ahead and click a download button, and it's pretty automated from there. So, honestly, that should probably fix about 90-95% of the problems of why you guys were on this video. So, for the other few percent that, that does not cover, I'm going to go ahead and show another thing here, and that would be to open up the Start menu, type in Device Manager, select Device Manager from this list. Keep in mind uh, what I said before, if you guys don't actually go out and look up your computer display information and you don't want to take that advice, don't blame me if this one method does not resolve the problem. You know, I just want to put that out there because I feel like the advice that I gave was pretty good. If you actually go and unplug and plug it back in, as well as going to the manufacturer's website, which I don't personally know because I'm not actually physically next to you looking at your monitor to tell you what monitor it is or a projector or whatever you're trying to hook up, the manufacturer should have the information needed to make it work properly. So just go ahead to the manufacturer's website. So unless it was made in 1975, there should be a website for it. So anyway, now that we're in Device Manager, you want to expand the Display Adapter section. So either double click on it or left a little arrow next to it. You want to right click on it and then select Update Driver. Search automatically for updated driver software. And then you can also search for updated driver software through Windows Update as well. So that's just giving you guys another option in there too. So I do hope that I was able to offer you guys some good suggestions to put you in the right direction here. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.